Life in Sherwood Forest wasn't always easy for Robin and his gang. Imagine spending the night in a dark forest with just a campfire to keep your spirits up, never knowing if the next branch that snaps is Baron Alwyn creeping up on you, ready to take you prisoner to Nottingham Castle. Although Mother Nature is a wonderful thing, at times you kind of wonder whose side she's on. silly games while I plan a way to make myself rich. I want gold and you want girls. <laughs> With Maid Marion in my clutches, I can begin my treasure hunt. When you are blinded with love, I will be blinded by gold. Now don't tell me, let me guess. It's Captain the Milkmaid, am I right? Maybe. <laughs> As far as you must go, Robin. I'll go alone now. Huh? What do you mean? Baron Alwyn wants you dead, Robin. It will be dangerous for you to come any further with me. I'll be okay. I can't leave you here, Marion. I'll be all right, Robin. My parents' castle's not far from here. I don't want the Baron's men to catch you. Huh? <gasps> well, yeah, I mean, if you put it like that, Marion. <laughs> Thank you so much for saving my life, Robin. Thank you too, you cute little fella. I like you a lot. <coughs> now, what name can I give you? Let me see. You're cute and furry. I've got it. Your sharp little teeth have just given me an idea. I should call you Fang. Fang? <coughs> yeah, that's a good name. From now on, you're going to be called Fang, OK? <laughs> Listen, Marion, I think that your parents' castle is the first place Baron Alwyn will go looking for you. Yes, you're probably right. I don't want to go back to Nottingham Castle, but I come from a Lancaster family. They're very powerful. They'll know how to protect me. Huh? I had no idea you came from such a respected family. Don't worry about me, Robin. I shall miss you. I shall miss you too, Marion. Bye, Robin. I hope we meet again. Goodbye. Goodbye, Marion. Bye. Come on, Fang. Let's get back to the others. I will be avenged. Sherwood Forest cannot hide you forever. Robin! Huh? I wish I still had my cross to protect me. Mm. This cross is solid gold. If I can sell it, I'll make a fortune. <laughs> <laughs> I can sell it in Nottingham, no problem. Yes! Maybe to some rich pilgrim or a traveling monk. Huh? Oh, I thought I saw something. It's nothing. Yep. Yeah. Oh, 
I'm gonna be so rich I'll be able to buy my own castle. Excuse me, Friar Tuck. What exactly is it that you're making, huh? You'd like to know? Oh, yes, yes, please! Come closer and I'll tell you. It's a secret. Oh, oh come there, on, Tuck. <laughs> hey, I'm back. Robin, good to see you. Hey, did you run into any bears or wolves in the forest? No, Winifred. Robin, this strange man said if we wanted to, we could stay here with him. Huh? What do you mean by a strange man? Hmm? Appearances can be deceptive. I've always lived on my own, but I'd be delighted if you were all to come and live here with me. What did you say? Well, what do you think, Robin? No, we can't. Thanks, anyway. Huh? But, Robin... Listen, Baron Alwyn and his men will come looking for us, and sooner or later they're bound to come looking here. Then Friar Tuck will be arrested for sheltering outlaws. Ooh. I understand. Thank you once again, Friar. We'll be on our way now and look for shelter in the forest. But what will you do if you cannot find a safe place? Don't worry, Friar Tuck. We will. Assuming you find a safe place, can you build a shelter? Of course. We'll use branches and leaves. But what if a strong wind blows your shelter over? Oh, uh, let's see. Well, then we'd sleep outdoors. Mm hmm? Hmm. You're a very smart boy, Robin. I think your friends are in safe hands. <laughs> You know, Sherwood Forest contains so many mysterious things that have never been explained. I could spend the rest of my life investigating the myths and legends of this wonderful place. Mm. <gasps> mm. Mm. A hippograph runs in the sky, and from the stars in the universe, dewdrops fall to the trees in Sherwood, and pixies come and play there. That's just kid stuff, Briar. You don't really believe in that stuff, do you? Yes, Winifred, I really do believe. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, come on. To believe or not to believe in such wondrous things must be your own decision, my young friends. I believe God has created many invisible miracles. And if we truly believe in them, one day we may see them. Ha 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 how many times do I have to tell you? I really saw a monster in the March. swamp. March! One of these Rawr! days your vivid imagination is going to get you into trouble. We've got to find that guy called Robin so I can finish off my duel. Ah, uh, come on, Chief. That's not the real reason you want to find Robin. Be honest. You want to see that girl Winifred again because you're in love with her, aren't you? <laughs> I am not in love with her, and don't you go telling that to the rest of the gang. Oh. Get these silly ideas out of your head. There are no monsters in the swamp, and I am not in love. The rest of the gang are getting pretty tired of your stories, too. And another thing, you're smelly. If that's what you think, I'd better leave. <laughs> yeah! I'm not going to stay where I'm not wanted! Hey, March! Come back here! Who looks like I've upset it? Must be something I said. Hey, Captain! It's one of the outlaws! Over there! Just my luck, Brambles! I know you. Your name's Much. You're an outlaw. Oh, not anymore. I'm not. <laughs> they call me Smelly. <laughs> oh, I wish I could stay in Sherwood Forest. I've only been gone a little while, but I miss Robin already. Yeah, a huge monster. It leapt out of the swamp with its eyes like flames and made a terrible roar. Huh? Oh. 
I can tell by the way you're looking that you don't believe me either. You don't think I'm crazy, do you, Robin? You're not crazy much. Come on, take us to the swamp and show us where you saw it. Sure. I think Friar Tuck would want us to check this thing out. You sure? This is it. This is where I saw the monster. Ah! This place is real creepy. <laughs> Come on, Winifred. You don't really believe in monsters, do you? Huh? Look! Can you see it? Where? Look! There! I knew I wasn't imagining it! No, it's impossible! I know. Oh. You've come to fight me again, haven't you, little John? Listen! Why don't you leave us alone, you big oaf? Will you shut up and listen to me? Look over there! Baron Orwin soldiers. They found us! It's the same bunch of tin heads who attacked us and burned down the camp! It looks like we're trapped. How are we gonna get out of this, Robin? I must get the girls to safety. That's it. Winifred, Jenny, quickly jump on this log. Oh! Ah! Uh. You'll be safer out there. Hey, come back! What about the monster? They'll get eaten out there! Will you be quiet much and listen to me? We'll stand together and fight the Baron's men. They're coming! The only way to win is to fight together. What do you say, men? Are you with me? Help me in. Yeah, I'm with the Robin dude. Fight on, Robin! I'll fight with you. Uh, yeah, I agree with Robin. Don't go getting any big ideas, though. They're my men, and I'm still the chief around here. Little John, this is no time to argue about it, all right? And my name's not Little John. <laughs> Quickly, men, over there. They're lurking by the swamp. Come on, men, follow me! Yeah! yeah! Uh, attack! Advance, men! Good work, soldiers. Baron Orwin will be very pleased with the hunt. Move in! Oh, Jenny! What can we do? Thought you could escape from us, did you, you miserable rats? You'll spend the rest of your life in the dungeons! <laughs> the gold cross! Maybe if I pray really hard, God will send a miracle and save us. Huh? Did you see that, Winnie? It's the monster! It's the monster! It's just a giant goldfish! Monster, I'm King John. 
before mankind. Never struggle against the will of nature. Learn to harness its power and it will work for you. Treat the natural world with wisdom and respect and it will become your strongest friend. Sherwood Forest conceals many of God's wisdom. Him? I knew the monster would get somebody. Must have drowned. Now we'll never finish our duel. I guess the monster ate him. <laughs> Robin! He's the friendliest fish I've ever met. He is? <laughs> For a giant fish, he's quite cute, don't you think? <laughs> Boy, that was some fish. We must respect all of God's creatures. He deserves to live in peace. We must try to make sure that he comes to no harm in the future. Sherwood Forest contains many mysterious things, Robin. God has truly created many miracles. Friar Tuck is a very wise man, and I'm sure he has much to teach us. Can you see it, Robin? Huh? I'm going to study that fish, but first I've got to catch it. Ah, ah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Very I'm getting good. quite worried Nuts. about him, Robin. I think he's a bit of a bozo. Give me a hand. Don't worry, Will. Friar good Tuck has more God. wisdom than all of us put together. I just can't wait for my Have no fear, my lady. They will not harm you. <laughs> oh. 
My lady. I wonder who she is. Why is she wandering alone in the forest at this late hour? Oh, she is truly beautiful. Moon, why have you sent her to me? I must know who she is. If you had your home burnt down and destroyed by ruthless soldiers and facing a battle for your life, what would you do? In his next adventure, that's just where Robin finds himself. Maid Marian is powerless to help since she lost her cross. And if that's not enough, Baron Alwyn's knight Gilbert has Robin just where he wants him. The beauty of Sherwood Forest seemed to lose some of its charm for Robin, as he stood crying in the ruins of his home.